Hi there everyone, my name's Heather, I'm one of the UK and International Training Managers here at ESPA and today I'm going to take you through a lovely session on how to create uh, the best night's sleep. It's such a challenging time at the moment that it's not surprising that people's quality of sleep has changed, you know, sleep patterns have been disrupted. Good sleep is so, so critical for your physical, mental and emotional health. So we want to try and help you combat any problems that you may be having with sleep at the moment. You know, everyone's stressed. It's I think we're on technology a lot more at the moment um, and it's, that can be a bit disruptive. So what we want to try and do today is help you to rebalance, restore and reharmonize. So we're going to be covering things like nutrition, how to create a good bedtime routine and also some beautiful ESPA products that you can be using as well. So first of all, nutrition, you know, fueling your body the best way possible. Sleep deprivation is going to increase your appetite, which then tends to make us reach for the wrong foods or too much food that we don't actually need. So what I want you to start doing is thinking about adding some good proteins into every meal, especially breakfast. It's going to help to curb any cravings that you're getting for sweet things, you know, sugar, the, the yummy stuff, but the stuff that's just not going to fuel our bodies. Also, pumpkin seeds and pumpkin-based snacks are amazing, so combine that with a glass of milk in the evening. The lactose sugar in the milk is going to release that sleep hormone, melatonin, to make you nice and rested at night. Also, things that are rich in magnesium, so avocados, bananas, broccoli, all great for helping your mind and your muscles to relax. So excellent to try and include that in some of your meals as well. Also those essential fatty acids, your omega-3s. So fish, eggs, seeds, try and include that in some of your meals as well. Excellent for brain health. I know I need that at the moment when I'm working at home. It's a different environment and maybe need that extra boost as well. So definitely start thinking about adding some of these things into your meals. When it comes to meal times, Try and make sure your last meal is at least three hours before bed. If you're eating right at bedtime, your body's then going to be trying to process all that food when you get into bed and you're never going to get a nice calm night's sleep with all that going on inside. Um, things like caffeine, fizzy drinks, sugar, alcohol, again, try and avoid these in the evening. Um, you know, they're just going to stimulate the mind and you're not going to be able to relax. Um, like I've already mentioned, caffeine, so try and go to an alternative from sort of late afternoon into early evening. So things like decaffeinated tea and coffee, um, herbal teas are my favourite, peppermint teas, great things to reach for when it comes to late afternoon, early evening as well. Okay, and then some nice uh, tips for just creating a nice restful night's sleep is, you know, even although we are all at home at the moment, um, if you're not working, try and still set yourself a, a bedtime and a get up time. You know, it's going to get you more into a routine. Your body clock will be in a routine and especially for when things go back to normal, which they will. Um, you know, you want to be able to easily get back into that working routine that you were in before. Um, and if you are working from home, try and set yourself a finish time. It's so important that your evening is yours. Um, so, you know, you would set your time, self a finish time if you were in the office. So try to do that at home as well. You know, your evening is yours to relax. You want to spend time with the people that you live with. You want to, if you live on your own, maybe do a nice FaceTime with a friend. It's so tempting after dinner to just be like, oh, I'm going to finish that email or, you know, I'm just finished that job that I was on. But don't do it. You know, like, can wait till the morning and, and try your best to, to just make the evening your own so that you can relax. Um, things like yoga, meditation, you know, breathing exercises are amazing. I've been doing a lot of it. I'm, I'm such a yoga bunny. Um, and I've been, while I've been at home, I've been doing a class in the morning before work. And then I've been doing a more restorative or yin style class in the evening to really just help me to wind down and relax as much as possible before bedtime. Also, another good thing to do is have a pen and paper by your beds. It sounds a bit silly, but I have one everywhere that I go. Um, I just like to empty my thoughts onto it before I go to sleep. So I'm the world's worst for getting into bed and thinking, oh, I forgot to do that or I must remember to do that in the morning or if something's bothering me or there's something I want to look into, I'll write it down. It's like I'm emptying my thoughts onto that paper and then I'm not thinking about it when I go to sleep. You know, I'm not trying to remember it for the next day because I've written it down so I won't forget about it. So that's probably my, my number one tip for things um, that you should be doing in the evening. 
Um, also, just, you know, try and have a bedtime routine. You know, I like to kind of set myself up for bedtime. So I'll maybe have a bath, watch my favourite programme, read a bit of my book, you know, all these things just to help me wind down and relax. Um, so yeah, try and have a, a bedtime routine. I like to, you know, use all my favourite products to cleanse my skin. Um, and it means that you're, like say, on the way to a restful night's sleep if you have that evening routine. Some beautiful Espa products that you can be using in that bedtime routine are our soothing range. So the soothing range contains sandalwood, frankincense and myrrh. So all excellent ingredients for helping you to de-stress, excellent for anxiety and great for helping you get the perfect night's sleep. So in that range, we have the soothing bath oil. So what you want to do is run your bath full of nice warm water and then you will use two of the inner caps of the lid there into your bath. It turns a beautiful milky consistency. Immerse yourself in that water for about 20 minutes, taking some nice deep breaths as well while you're in there so you can inhale those essential oils. If you don't have time to have a bath, you know, so maybe being caught up in your favourite TV programme, what you, something else you can do with the, the bath oil is make an inhalation bowl for yourself. So just get a bowl, fill it with boiling water, a little splash of the bath oil, and then just some nice deep inhalations in through the nose, out through the mouth. This is how we start most of our SPA body treatments because inhalations are the quickest way to get the essential oils working on the body. So it only takes three to seven minutes for them to start working. So it's an excellent thing to do is use that um, for an inhalation bowl. It's really, really nice. The next product we have is the soothing body oil. So what you want to do with this one is just take some into your hand. So you only need a small amount for this. You will then just warm it up in your hands and some nice deep breaths. What you'll then do is apply it across the decollete. So you're going to continue to inhale those lovely essential oils or you can use it all over as a body moisturiser as well. It's amazing for that. I just Soothing ranges has been my saviour at the moment. It's lovely. Another um, nice soothing product that's just not long been launched is our pulse point rollers. So what you want to do with this one is you can have it on your wrists, on your neck or on your temples. You know, you can then massage it in and then you can just again do some nice inhalations with that. This is sitting on my desk constantly at the moment. Um, they also come in a lovely little white vegan leather case, so great for on the go as well. So you know you can have it in your handbag, so if you are feeling a bit anxious or a bit wound up, just use your little pulse point roller when you're out and about and it's, it's lovely and it looks beautiful as well. Okay. Also in the soothing range we have gorgeous candles and reed diffusers. The home range is just getting launched at the moment and um, it all looks amazing. It looks so good in the home. But remember when you've got these essential oils in your home it's not only going, only going to benefit you, it's going to benefit everyone you live with as well. So have a look at them, check them out. They're absolutely amazing. The packaging is lovely as well and like, it's got exactly the same smell as the soothing range. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then one last product that I want to speak to you about today, which is for the face, is the Overnight Hydration Therapy. So this one, we call it a therapy rather than a mask because it is a face mask, but it's also going to help you sleep really well as well. So you just want to take a little bit of your product. You will apply it to your face. I'm just going to put it on my hand for today. Um, so this one has got cedarwood and ylang ylang in it. So great for helping to calm the mind. You want to work it into the skin until it goes a nice white consistency. So we're doing that because it's got encapsulated lavender in it. So the encapsulated lavender, we want to try and release that. So that's why we're working it in. So the lavender will re gradually release as we sleep. So you're not just going to get a burst of lavender when you first put the product onto the skin. It's going to continue to work as you sleep so that you can continue having a good night's sleep as well. And then not only will you be nice and rested the next day, you will have gorgeous hydrated skin too. Uh, so it's an all round great product. You can see there that it's got a nice white consistency. So that's how you want it to look. So you'll do that about five or 10 minutes before you get into bed. It'll then just sink into your skin. So it's not going to go all over your pillow. And then you'll just have a nice, a nice restful sleep.
okay so all of those are on the website so please check them out um thank you so much for joining me today i hope this has been a nice escape for you or you've managed to just get some good tips out of it like i say check out the website for any of our products and there'll be some more videos um, getting uploaded as well so hopefully you can check them out too thank you bye